Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Die.
rush! You're already dead. <laughs> Kenshiro, you have come quite a ways. I want you to let Yuria go. <laughs> let her go? Have you forgotten, Kenshiro? Let me remind you. Yuria belongs to me. Her life is mine alone. Is it all coming back to you now? The day that I proved that I was your better. I left you broken, beaten, pitiful, and squirming on the ground. You couldn't muster up the power to match me, and you couldn't even protect your dear fiancé. You lost to me, all because you were blinded by your naivete. I scarred your body. But you must remember why I spared your life. You live for one reason alone. Because Yuria screamed for you. 
She swore that she would be mine if I spared you. And so you survived, disgraced and defeated. You can run if you wish to. I'll let you go as one last mercy to the man I cast into hell. Is that all you have left to say? What? I clawed my way out of hell. To kill you once and for all. So you've only come to fail once more. You are a fool. <laughs> so you have improved somewhat. Well then, let's see you dodge when I fight at my full strength. This time, you die! for me. Tell me where Yuri is. All I wanted was to see her smile. All I did was for her sake. My mighty army. My grand city. I only wanted to bring her joy. To give her happiness. But still, nothing was ever enough. Yuria only had room for one man in her heart. You were always there. You're the one she had been waiting for. Now, Yuria's gone. Forever lost to us. What? 
None of it was for me. It was never about the power. It was for her! And now, without Uria, the battle between us will never end. Farewell, Kenshiro. In the not-so-distant future, the world has been scoured by nuclear flame. The seas have dried, the land has split, and all life has been wiped from the barren Earth. But the human race lives on! Is that all? I thought you said they got loads of gasoline here. Way I heard it, this used to be a factory. So I figure, only reason they wouldn't have gas is if some little punks hoard it all. You never said this place would be such a shithole. Nothing around here but a bunch of old coots and little kids. Damn it! Where the hell's all the gas? With all these fine folks here, we'll just pick them off day by day. Eventually, somebody's gonna talk. Oh? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I got some rage to work out anyway. <laughs> you. Huh? What the hell you want? I need to ask you something. Has a woman named Yuria passed through here? Huh? What the hell's up with this guy? Look, we don't know anybody like that. Then we are done talking. Hey! You don't just walk away from us! If you don't want to die, walk away. Boys, let's kill this guy. <laughs> die! Oh. <laughs> it's too late for you. You're already dead. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? No! Help me! Please! <laughs>
Here you go. <sighs> my name is Ruka, and this is my grandpa. What's your name, mister? Kenshiro. Kenshiro, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the water, Ruka. You're a lifesaver. You're the one that saved our lives, though. Those bad men might have killed us if you didn't beat them up. The water is our way of saying thank you. This town used to be a major hub for car production. We managed to survive nuclear war, thanks to underground facilities built for storing diesel and gasoline. However, we're currently short on food and drink. Canned goods and water are scarce around here. All of those able to help have gone out in search of more. The only ones left in town are either children or old folks like me. The local thugs probably know this, and that's why they're always here trying to steal our fuel. Those brutes you took out back there were nothing new. That's why we spend most of our time hiding underground. Hmm. I see. It explains why the place seems deserted. Only a few of those that went out for supplies have returned. Ruka's parents left about a year ago and still haven't come back. Once our fuel runs dry, that'll be it for us. Kenshiro, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. My fiance. She means everything to me. I thought she was dead. But I've heard rumors that someone saved her life. She might still be out there somewhere. So she's alive? Maybe. I'm not sure if those rumors are true. They could be about someone completely different. But until I know for sure, I'm not giving up. I will find Yuria. She's all I have left. Yuria? Grandpa, isn't that... Your fiancé's name is Yuria? That's right. Never thought something like this would happen. Fate can be such a curious thing. Not long ago, a group of travelers came through here, looking for a place to rest. Apparently, the group's leader was in pretty bad shape. Her followers were treating her with the utmost care. They didn't stick around for long. But I do recall the followers referring to their leader as Lady Yuria. Are you sure? Yes. There was no mistaking it. I remember too. I only saw her face for a second, but she was beautiful. Yuria. Do you know where they went? They said they were heading to a place called the City of Miracles. The City of Miracles? It's just like it sounds. They say it has all the food, water, and fuel anyone could ever want. I heard it's led by someone called the Holy Maiden. She's supposed to grant the wish of anyone who goes there. Does something like that actually exist? It's supposedly located far north of here. Though, I'm not sure if any of it's true. Perhaps it's just a fairy tale. A safe haven dreamed up by those who have grown weary of this harsh reality. I am sure about one thing, though. Those travelers set off for the City of Miracles in hopes of healing their leader. Thanks for all of your help. You're going to the City of Miracles, aren't you? Yes. 
I have to see if Yuri is really there. I was right. You practice Hokuto Shinken, don't you? Warriors trained in the ways of Hokuto Shinken. They use pressure points to destroy their enemies from within, using only a single lethal strike. Hokuto Shinken. I imagine that's what you used on those bandits. Am I correct in saying so? That martial art. To think that I would ever be allowed to see it with my own eyes one day. I hear that no matter where it goes, strife will always follow. I will be sure to pray for you. Wait, Kenshiro. Ruka, what if I promised to bring you back something? What would you wish for? What would I... I know. I'd wish for all the apples that I could possibly ever want. Well, okay. That's it. 